She was heckled and her minister was manhandled by the left protesters in cap the capital. An angry Mamata Banerjee then lost her cool after the incident. Hours later, tremors resonated in her state when the TMC workers ransacked CPM offices across West Bengal. Tension continues to simmer as the TMC will hold a protest at the Jantar Mantar today. TMC party workers taking to the streets of Bengal, resorting to vandalism and ransacking CPM offices. These tremors resonating in Bengal hours after Mamata Banerjee was heckled and her minister manhandled by the left student group SFI in the capital. We are being told that uh, such uh, kind of attack has taken place uh, across Bengal at different parts of the state. In fact, at certain places that leaders were attacked, the leaders' carts were attacked and uh, like in Sirampur, like in uh, Badwan, uh, the, the leaders were put under lock and key inside the CPIM party office allegedly by TMC supporters and workers. An attempt made to get off the West Bengal chief minister that saw her lose her cool. Condemning the incident, the CPM says it was uncalled for. Incident which took place and scuffle took place uh, before uh, Mr. Omit Roy, our finance minister, is uncalled for. Rather, we condemn this. The Delhi police, meanwhile, have registered a case against the SFI and left student activists for the ruckus. But the tension is only escalating, with TMC workers set to hold more protests at Jantar Mantar on Wednesday. All India Trinamool Congress is going to hold a peaceful demonstration all over the country to protest against these undemocratic activities by the CPIM. The manner in which CPIM Gundas has acted, I have got no voice to ignore it. Should both the CPM and TMC fight on ideologies or policy rather than with violence? And is there a danger that unless top leaders of the left and TMC call ceasefire, the circle of violence will continue? With Shomit in Kolkata, Niranjan for Times Now.